I gotta tell you, Vanessa is so inspiring. Y'all are gonna be blown away by her story. And she's like, just such a positive person. So encouraging, inspiring, always thinking of ways that she can, you know, continue to move her business forward and not make excuses, but just figure out a way to make it happen. And in one year since last summer, essentially, she just surpassed 57,000 followers on TikTok. And she said, was it just a few weeks ago, Vanessa, you had like 42,000 followers? That's right, in the last so couple, yeah. So you've grown over 10,000 in just a few weeks. And I think some people are gonna get some value from this conversation. Like how many of us are like, <laughs> I'd like to get 200 customers in a year, let alone in a month. If you had like 10,000 new eyeballs on you in the next three weeks, would you agree that would probably be good for business? Especially if it was people raising their hand about your product or opportunity. Yeah, let's talk about it. Tell your story about like the whole like TikTok situation and you know, some of what you have figured out because it's genius. I love watching you fly and it's it's been amazing to, to witness it firsthand. Yeah, sure. Well, a little bit of backstory because I think it's really, really important for, you know, many people out there. I remember, I think it's three or four years ago now, John and Nadia came to Canada and I remember being at this leadership retreat and they were saying to us, you got to get on TikTok. And the thing, the first impulse in my mind was like, yeah, right. Like there is no way I don't want another platform. I don't want to figure this out. I've already got enough with Facebook and Instagram. And I was so resistant to this platform. And um, it was during COVID actually that, you know, what else was I supposed to do? I was like, well, I might as well play around with this. And I actually just started to uh, create videos. And and then I was I was literally creating the video on TikTok and bringing it over to Facebook because everybody was so depressed. It was like, everybody was like down the world. So I was making these funny videos and bringing them over to Facebook. And then on a whim, one, one time I did a, a product style video and it really took off, but I didn't know anything about the app. I didn't know how to get a link in place. I didn't know how to message people. I, I, I didn't know anything. Um, and then it was November of 2021. Uh, on a whim, I, you know, I'm very passionate about a product that, that, you know, I offer and on a whim, I just, you know, put the bottle to the camera. It was so boring. It was literally me on the couch, like, this is what I use and this is what I did. And it took off. And that's when I went, oh, wow, like there's something here, you know, to be able to get yourself in front of so many people that you never would possibly get over on Facebook with your friends and family. And that's when I wanted to figure it out. But, you know, can we just can we just point this out, though? So I'm now remembering, I think that was like November 2019. So that was the very beginning. But that was kind of like when we were all just messing with it and having fun. Totally. We weren't using it to mm -hmm. actually promote products or opportunity because you know it's always like you know taboo to be like super promotional and you know it's, it's attraction marketing build a following no like and trust which obviously we still believe this yeah. but we weren't like really promoting product and then like you said covid happened which was only a handful of months later three four five months later but you didn't really start cracking the code until another year after that so it, it is amazing how sometimes people see people like you and they go, oh, she's so good at video. Look at her results. Look at her before and after picture. And she's so good at talking about the product. She's so good at TikTok. But like you said, you had no clue about the app for not months. Enough. You did not have clarity in that regard. And then even once you did figure it out, you got shadow banned. You had to start a whole new account, which I know yeah. we're going to talk about. But it, it is funny how like, People compare their chapter one to someone's chapter four, five, six, which is where you're at now with your business and with your TikTok. And it wasn't an easy, like you just turned on the app and immediately started blowing up. So oh, no. I just think that's important to, to point out. It was totally, I started really, started really messy. I didn't know what I was doing. My, like I said, my video was really boring. <laughs> <laughs> like really, rah, 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 you know, <laughs> and, but you know, but then you start figuring out the app, you get a little bit more, uh, in tune with what's going on and things start working out and, and it became a lot of fun. Like all of a sudden it was like, woo, it was so much fun because, you know, without knowing anyone, they didn't know you. They mm. just met you on a, maybe back then I didn't know how to do a seven second video, by the way. I was like, oh my God, how do I fit it all in a minute? But, um, you know, they met you on a one minute video and all of a sudden you wake up and it's like, wow, business was rolling. It was just amazing. Um, uh, and then obviously things, you know, kind of shifted the last couple of years. And, um, 
and I shifted too. And and so it's been it's been quite the ride. I've definitely had to kind of evolve, get myself out of a funk too, because we can also get uh, you know for anyone who's watching, you know what it's like. Sometimes we can get into our own head. We can mm -hmm. over. And we stop taking the action that we know we should be taking. Um, and, and always when I'm overthinking, I'm always trying to figure out solutions. And I overthink to the point that I stop myself from taking the action I know I need to take. So we're all the same. We all yeah. have the same like insecurities and that analysis paralysis. So I guess my question for you is how did you make the well, first of all, let's let's point out some numbers. So sure. Last month, 220 <laughs> new customers, which you didn't even realize you had that many until we started like doing some data research, right? And you were like, oh my gosh, I had 220 new customers order <laughs> last month, like mind blowing. How many did you have in the three, four, five, six months prior to that? Any idea? Oh God, I don't know. Cause I think it was like not even 200 in the last four months. Yeah, I mean, so I had, um, I've, I had a couple of really good years and I will say that I, I had a very consistent and through that, I was working on other things, you know, personal development and maybe uh, working on, you know, uh, you know, building my team and, and doing other things. And so my focus had kind of shifted and it kind of went down a little bit. And that's when I was like, oh, you know, I've got to I've got to make some moves. And yeah. and um, and so I don't actually know. But 220 that I mean, I haven't seen that th those kind of numbers for, you know, a little while. Right. Two years. <laughs> 30,000 in sales, just to put yeah. a dollar behind it, right? 30,000 in sales in a month, which is about $1,000 a day in sales, y'all. It's like, it's silly money. Now, yeah. of course, the next question would be, what was the shift? What was that shift? Like, how did you figure out? Because I know that's what most people struggle with, right? What do I talk about? How do I, you know, show up on TikTok? Like, what's the, what's the, 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 the method behind the madness, right? So maybe you could share some of that. Yeah. So I think we can all agree TikTok is like a moody woman. <laughs> you've got to kind of learn how to work with her you know when she's got good days and bad days you know um and so i really wanted to understand like what's working on TikTok, and how can i also get away from trends trends were actually starting to feel a little bit ick for me um because it was really like sales you know and mm -hmm. um and i really wanted to figure out how i can give a little bit more value and and really show up and so i i chose one product. And what I'm finding is that on TikTok, so I think a lot of us actually have a, what I call a Facebook mentality. Uh, whereas we think that we should post personal development and then we should post something inspirational and then we should post something about the product. TikTok is, is a, you know, every single video that you post on TikTok should be freestanding and should have absolutely no context because most people, they're just coming by your video by chance. And so meaning they haven't seen your other videos. That's right. They don't know you. And so you really want to pack that video with like value. How can you help them? What it is that you are doing for them? You know, that kind of thing. So you just want a freestanding video. And also to uh, I also realize that you can't be afraid of repeating yourself. Uh, if you actually look at your analytics, it's the for you page that those videos are hitting very, very if any of your followers actually see that video, it's a very, very small percentage. So if you can actually get really good at repeating the same thing over and over again in different ways and be creative with it. Um, and uh, you know, that's what I'm, I'm finding that's working for me. Whenever I've tried this last year, yeah, I started a new account, I built it up, but I was all over the place because my first account had been, I had posted a video and next thing I know I had been shadow banned and, uh, and and so I walked into this new account like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. And so I was all over the place this last couple of years and, and not quite sure which direction I was going and what was allowed and not not allowed. And then what I did uh, in recent months was I just got really clear. I'm focusing on one thing. I'm I use uh, the 30 days prior to this big month. I use the exact same three hashtags. Um, and so what it is with TikTok, too, is if you're if you're doing let's use examples, weight loss and skincare, da, 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 da. TikTok, the thing with TikTok is it wants to find the audience 
for you. Mm. Um, if you're if you're confusing that moody woman, she's going to be like, I don't know what you're doing, and your views are going to be low, you know. But if you can be really really clear on this is the audience I'm trying to reach and get really consistent with those three hashtags, eventually TikTok will have its aha moment. And then it will start feeding your video to that audience that you're looking for. So that's what's been working for me. Um, yes, it can get a little bit like, oh, another video about, you know what I mean? But hey, listen, I know I know who I want to help. I know who I want to reach. And at the end of the day, if this is what's going to work, perfect. Like, let's do it. So that's kind of been my. And then what's your mentality when you're getting new followers, new comments? What's What are you doing to connect with them? I know that's always a constant pain point with TikTok that people have? For me, what's been working is going live. Um, what I do when it goes uh, comes to live video on TikTok, if, if you are able to go live, if you have over a thousand followers, go live. Um, if you post a video, go live within 20 to 30 minutes after you post that video, because that video will start getting some traction. And also too, if it starts taking off, or if you have a video taking off, oh my God, go live as much as you can. <laughs> because that's when people are jumping on. Who are you? What are you all about? We want to learn from you. And for me, I'm always on those live videos. That's where I guide people to other places. You know, this is where you can find me on Facebook, which is, you know, I have a button to connect with me on Facebook. Uh, this is how you could connect with me. If you're in North America, you can text me direct at da, 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 you know, so that's how I like to kind of bring people over. And then of course, you know, after you go live, that's when you start checking all your messages, you know, whether it's Facebook, whether it's project broadcast, if you're using that, if it's, you know, TikTok. So you, message do, you, so you don't drive them to your link, you're driving them to connect. Depending on what they're asking. Okay. In the live. So in the live, obviously, if they're like, well, how do we get this? I'm going to point them in the right direction. But always I end off a live with, you know, if I hopefully I've been able to answer your questions today. And if I haven't, this is how you can connect with me. So Love so that. I'm always trying to to That's lead good. them in the right direction. <laughs> how often are you doing your lives? Uh, the last three weeks, I've been going live minimum one to two times a day during that crunch time. Um, like it was it was busy. I had two videos that really you know, took off, which was phenomenal. Uh, also gave me a little bit of aha, an aha moment because the type of video was a lot more informative, mm. uh, not salesy. And it was really interesting. In what to way? See. Can you explain that? And when you say it was more informative, were you like telling your story sure. or were you sure? Uh, no, no. So I find, uh, to, you know, again, a few years ago, none of us knew what we were doing. All of a sudden we have short form videos and it's like, woo, like let's wave a bottle in front of the camera and see what happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. It did yeah. work. Yeah. And yeah. it worked, you know, and, um, but you know, we all have to pivot. It's very easy for us to say, TikTok's not working for me anymore and go other places. No, you got to figure it out. You have to figure out what's working and how to work it. And so uh, for me, the biggest shift was, I actually just, to be quite honest, I, ha I had repurposed a high value post, um, you know, and I just said it to the camera. That's what I did. And it was amazing. And, and you know, it was really informative. I didn't show the product at all, but it had people going, oh, like, that's really interesting that makes sense. And so giving your audience aha moments and not coming from a place of like, buy my thing, you know, that's when people, you know, all of a sudden things started to shift. And I was like, well, you okay. build up the trust, right? You build up the trust factor and then they feel comfortable reaching out. And then on top of that, you're consistent, right? So the people that do start to follow and they do start to watch your live videos or connect with you on Facebook or Instagram, it, it they can see, oh, this is a real person. This isn't some big influencer that like mm -hmm. is untouchable and just sells stuff to make a buck. Like this is someone that's genuinely trying to help me. Yeah. And you know, like you said, it takes time to kind of figure out that conversation and it's face to camera, high value. This is how I can help, or this is how it can help you. Yeah. And it's it's coming from a place where again, you're not waving a bottle in front of the camera. You're 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 like you're offering something that somebody can actually take away and learn from, right? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Now, how would you tell someone to, if if you were coaching someone up that's like, okay, I'm ready to get serious with TikTok, how would you coach them up on like where to begin? You know, if they were, you know, maybe they had an account, it went stagnant. Do you recommend starting a new account or just going back to what they already have? Like what would be kind of your mindset on getting started or restarting your TikTok? 
I didn't want to restart my account. And so what I just said was, I'm just going to get very intentional with what it is I'm trying to market. And, um, and I know who I want to help. And sure, maybe, like I said, same hashtags, three hashtags, uh, choose them. And you can always have those topics underneath that, those three hashtags around that same. How did you pick, how did you pick your three? Uh, ChatGPT? ChatGPT. Yeah. How did you do that? Are you good gave me gave me three hashtags. I was like, okay, let's use them, and I started to use them. And uh, what was your and, prompt? What did, what did you ask ChatGPT? I asked Chat ChatGPT write me copy for a short form video that sounds like me in simple terms um, about X Y Z, and give me three hashtags. And then the hashtags that it generated, I was like, oh, I like those hashtags. I'm going to use them. <laughs> it's just, I, like, I get so excited about this because, you know, I, I know a lot of people are like, AI is so overwhelming and ChatGPT is so confusing. Like, yeah. you could literally go into ChatGPT and say, ChatGPT, what should I ask you so that you can help me sell more collagen? I mean, yeah. it could be something that, now I'm not saying that that's going to necessarily give you the answer you're looking for, but mm -hmm. that's, you just start talking to it and it literally will start to come up with what you need, which Vanessa just said, it just handed it to her on a silver platter. Like it's so yeah. good. I yeah. love it. Yeah, and it, it, chat GPT is kind of fun. Sometimes I don't use, sometimes I'll get great ideas. Sometimes the copy, not quite in my yeah. wording, but always I always customize it. Yeah, yeah I always. always try and refine it and refine it and see, yeah. you know, um, but, um, but, it, it does give me some good ideas for sure. And those three hashtags, I mean, hey, listen, you know, if you're kind of stuck, like, what are my three hashtags? That in itself can be a little bit, um, I don't know, because I want to talk about this, but everybody's using that hashtag, you know, so you can always find. Um, well, I also you know, like that you focus on one product and TikTok is funny. You never know who's going to jump in and jump mm -hmm. out. And so I find that me going through, you know, a little bit about my story and the most commonly asked questions, and I kind of just, keep that rotating and you know after 30 minutes or so if there's no engagement I'll pop off and if there is of course I'm going to stay on you know but I'm literally just kind of going through the same thing and, and again you just can't be afraid to, to repeat yourself there's yeah. millions of people on TikTok so. how many of us we follow certain YouTube accounts or certain influencers or whatever right you follow people that inspire you like I love Patrick Bet David or Joe Rogan or Brendan Machard or Ed Milet or you know Gary Vee and they say a lot of the same stuff over and over again. I notice they repeat themselves a lot. I don't get like annoyed by it. I don't think no. like I've already heard him say this. No, because you know what it is? It's the newest information they're sharing. Even though they might say the same thing today that he said six months ago, it doesn't matter because they're saying it right now. And there's something about the present, the right now, that even though th this conversation I've had so many times over the years about TikTok and short form videos and marketing yourself and building that no like trust and all the things, it doesn't matter. People still continue to tune in. Why? Because it's relevant and it's yeah. going to continue to be relevant. People are never going to stop wanting to look younger, feel better. They're never going to stop buying stuff online from someone they trust that has a story and like you said, offers value in your own unique way. It's it's so important to repeat yourself, even in our stories. It takes somebody 10, 12 times to see the same thing. Yeah. You know, when you, you, it takes a while, like subconsciously, it takes a while for that kind of message to sink in. So if you can get creative with repeating the same things over and over again, yes, become more relevant. Maybe there's something, a tidbit you picked up along the way that you can kind of add right. to it, add to it. but. The more people hear it, the more people see your face, the more people hear you talking about the same thing. One day it's like, all right, I'm ready.